What's up, everybody? I'm Sly, the Movie Guy, and here's my movie review of Batman Ninja, directed by Junpei Mizusaki. And in this film, Batman is battling Gorilla Grodd at Arkham Asylum. And as the battle goes on, Batman is caught in Gwa's Koit Engine time displacement machine that sends him along with his allies and adversaries from Gotham City to feudal Japan. And this is another Batman animation film. We have one this year. It was called Batman Gotham by Gaslight. And this one I was really looking forward to because I've seen the trailers and look interested. Batman is in Japan. But basically he goes through this time machine that Gorilla Guag created. Basically Gorilla Guag wants to kind of like take over some world and guess in Japan. He brings all he brings all Batman villains to Japan, with, which that machine does lead to bringing Batman villains, including Batman and all his friends there. And that looks like an interesting concept. Again, Batman in a different time and place rather than in Gotham City, which is kind of good because every Batman film we get, he's in Gotham City. This one, is it really, is it that good? Just like Batman got my gaslight? Because Batman got my gaslight is really good. This one, I say the first begin, the first beginning, like the first act is really, really good. I loved how Batman's trying to figure out everything about Japan, what to do, where Catwoman knows a little bit everything, who is like the all Batman villains owning like different, territories in Japan, like they own one building, one of the other ones own the rest. Basically, Joker owns like all, like, just about like the whole thing, like Japan, which is kind of weird. And this is basically like Batman versus Joker once again, just like Dark Knight and other things of 89 Batman. Basically, Batman got to stop Joker. And there's a lot of things in here. I won't get into spoilers, but that's one of the basically the plots of it and Gorilla Gua is part of this whole thing a little bit which I'm not getting the spoilers this film shows us that this discovery where Batman's trying to figure out different things or what's going on and how to fix this it gets to the second act where it's fine after the first 45 minutes everything's great but after the 45 minutes, that's when things kind of get very messy. It turns into something else. It's almost like they, it's like it went all over the place. And that's why I say this film kind of fails it. And I just, that's where it leads to the negatives. It goes through where everything twists. Like after all that, it gets to the middle to the third act where all this stuff is kind of becoming like, towards like a power range of the Transformers. Well, after Gorilla Gwa got what he wanted, it basically he do little things where he be able to control all the villains and all that and basically rewrite history. And that's where I get it, but it kind of comes all over the place and it becomes like a lot of mess and you can't stay focused. But like I said, the first act was fine, but it gets to there everything becomes all like a Batman to a Transformer to Power Rangers. And it's kind of all over the place. And that's just very, that's vast at this point. Cause I would like to have a strong third act, which there's some all, there's some good parts in the third act, but overall that there's, there's so much of that mess that kind of kills the part of the pacing of the film. And I just felt like, uh, and there's a lot of crazy cheesiness going on in that scene. But it gets where Batman and Joker fights in the third act, which that part is really good. Now I'm going to get into detail what happens, but Batman and Joker fighting with the ninja stuff, that's what I was looking for. And I wish that film made more of that in the beginning and middle and end made it more like that in the middle where Batman's doing all this ninja stuff. Because we get to see, that's what was so unique about Batman Gotham by Gaslight because you get to see where Batman is informed into this 800 years thing back then like the Sherlock Holmes thing if you checked out my review what I said 
where you could see Batman in that environment in that era. I want to see Batman in that Japan era, and that kind of I got it, but the whole film kind of went to a robotic type thing, which doesn't make any sense. Overall, is is this one of the best animation Batman films? I in my per is for me it's kind of the weakest one that I've seen so far, and I'm a big Batman fan, so this one was kind of like a step down from Batman Gotham by Gaslight. But if you really was looking forward to checking it out, I say go ahead, look at it. You might, you most likely will enjoy it. For me, I didn't. I'm just giving you a review what I felt like and what the stuff this film did wrong. Basically, you might enjoy this. I'm going to give Batman Ninja a C-. minus. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you thought about this film. Did you like it or you or do you did not like it? Tell me, what is your favorite Batman moments in films or animations? I would love to know. As always, guys, if you like this video, click thumbs up. Or if you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And I'd like to see you next time on Slide the Movie Guy. Peace.